This is Monday the 14th, this is the Iron Trader, and this is time to go to work. Okay, today as usual, we are going to review here crude oil here and natural gas. Uh, the API report for crude will be out on Tuesday, the EIA will be out on Wednesday at 10.30, and then the natural gas will be out on Thursday at 10.30. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation by Sally Stock Plant ETF. Please like and subscribe, thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, today we put in a lower low today. Okay, so the low today so far is 81.98. So you say, well, how did it get there? Well, what you want to do is look to the top of this candle here. What do you have? 82. Okay, so you're within two cents. That's your support level. See how nice that's holding? And then we just keep on going all the way on down until you start hitting these key SMAs. Now, if you look at the price, though, it came down, made a lower low, but now you're back above that 8 SMA. That's the key level right there. You need to have uh, the closing price above the 8 SMA, which is 82.82. Now, again, if you can close above that, then what we want to do is look to Friday's candle. Okay, so you're looking at uh, 83.81. Okay, and then we just work ourselves all the way on up here. Um, you got 84.65, and then we have the big retest there at 84.89. Now, if we come all the way across the chart here, this is the key level right here. This is 83.53. This is the uh, level that we want to really focus on, okay, as far as on the upside, all right? So if you look at Friday's candle, it basically was an indecision candle. Yeah, it got higher than the 83.53, all the way up to 83.81, but it didn't close there, okay? You close that 83.04, which is basically below that 83.53. So this is a very, very uh, important candle right here, the top of this candle. Okay, so that's the upside. Now on the downside, watch this key 8 SMA. Now if that's lost, then you look to today's low here, okay? So you're looking at uh, 81.98 uh, there so far. We don't know if that's gonna be uh, the final close. And then we come over here, we look in here at 81.52, and then we just rocket it all the way on down here. Okay, so uh, you're looking at 80.59, and then your big uh, what, um, support level here is sitting at uh, 80.08, and that's your 21 SMA. Very, very key support. If that's lost here, then we just follow this right on down. Okay, so you got 79.90, which is basically the top of this candle right here. Okay, so basically what you want to do is uh, uh, look right and straight across. Always look at these candles here on the left-hand side. That is going to be your support and resistance levels. So then we can come down to this candle here. you got 79.05, and then we have uh, your uh, 78.69. Then you can come all the way down to your 200 SMA here, sitting at uh, uh, 76.77. Uh, but when you look at these, see all the way across here, and you look at this candle here, see you had 79.90, and then what do you have here, 79.90. See how that works right across? See, that's the same thing here with this. 82 level okay you went down two cents below it but that is you're going to be your support level and then you need to really hold this key 8 sma here all right let's take a look here on your weekly and your monthly chart okay your monthly chart uh oh, they're looking good but then you still is this is only half the month here okay so basically you're holding your uh 100 your 50 your 200 day and your key 8 sma that's going to be key support if it sells right on down now, on the upside here, you want to look at your big target is going to be this 21 SMA sitting at 86.23. Uh, but we don't want to get too far ahead of yourself here because really the first target is going to be this uh, uh, 85.62. Um, that's your 100 SMA here on your weekly. And then we come over here to this uh, 86.23. Uh, uh, now, here on your weekly chart here, well, this is still looking uh, very good right now. It's just... You know, for the week so far, just an inside uh, week. But if you look here on your 8 SMA here, okay, so you're sitting at 78, uh, 17, your 50 day, you're sitting at 87, 17. Okay, you see how nice this is curling up here? So when it breaks above that 21 day, that's when she rallies right up here nice. Look how many nice green days. So we don't know what we're going to have here today uh, yet because this is still pretty early here in the morning. But you got a, still a nice cross over here. So your key levels here are going to be that 78.17. That's going to be key support level. And then if that's lost, we come down here to this uh, 75.64. That is your 21 SMA here. Now, again, the key upside here is going to be this 83.53. That is going to be your target level. 
And again, if you can get above, then we look to this one uh, uh, candle right here. You're looking at 84.89. And then we have your 100 day at 85.62. And then you have your 21 day of uh, 86.23. Uh, uh, <clears throat> that will be your upside levels. All right, let's take a look here at the old Natty Gas. Okay, Natty Gas here. You got your hourly here and you got a four hour chart here. Now, you had a really nice good run up here, uh, double topped right there, sold right on down. Uh, it's trying to work it here, but what we want to do here on the upside is you want to look here at your key 21 SMA. You're sitting at uh, 2.77. You want to look at the eight day, 2.79, and then you want to look at 2.798. That is your uh, 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 50 SMA here, and then we have your 100 up there sitting at uh, 2.819. Um, now, if you can get above that, then we got a shot where we can just keep layering this right on up here, um, where you basically have 2.89, and then we have uh, uh, 2.95, then we can come up here. Um, you have 2.99, and then your big retest there. Uh, on the downside here, you want to watch this key price channel here uh, at 2.70, which lines up pretty nice here with this 2.697. Uh, that needs to really to hold here, maybe uh, create a double bottom here, and then rally right on up. Now, here on your four-hour chart here, well, it's pretty much the same thing. We just got some sideways action here. Uh, we've got to just see how this develops here through the day. But on the upside here, you want to watch this key 8 SMA sitting at 2.77 and then your 21 day at 2.83. And on your bottom day, watch this price channel here sitting at 2.70. All right, let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly chart. Okay, if we look here on a uh, daily chart here, all right, here's what we got here. We're looking really good uh, so far as long as we hold this key uh, 8 SMA here. You're sitting at 2.74. That's going to be key support. If it goes lower, then you want to look right here at 2.678. Uh, uh, and then right below that was we have your 50-day sitting at 2.59. Uh, now, so far here, you know, here on your uh, daily, it's just an inside day. So we want to look to, to the uh, candles there on Friday. So your high was 2.83. That's going to be resistance, and your low is 2.70, which lines up very nice there on your one-hour, your four-hour chart. Okay, so on the upside, you this is what you want to look at there is your uh, 2.83, and then this candle right here. This is going to be very crucial. That's sitting at 2.87. If you can get above, then we come right over here to this candle here. You're looking at uh, 2.99, and then your big retest of 3. Uh, uh, one. Now, when you look here on your uh, weekly chart here, I've always been pointing out this candle here at 3.02. Um, this candle here, okay, we had 3.018. That's your double top right there in play. Sold right down here. Now, we got to see if it can break above. If it can break above this key level right here, uh, sitting at uh, 3.027, then here's your target right here. Okay, your 200 SMA sitting at 3.37. Above that, we come right here. Okay, at this uh, 200 day sitting at 3.76. So you, you know where your upside is and then you know all these key support levels on your daily are gonna be all the levels there that you wanna make sure that they hold. That is gonna be the key. And then watch this candle right here on the upside. It needs to close above 2.87. That will give it the momentum there to uh, attack these two candles right here. All right, I'll have more for you on crude oil and natural gas, more in-depth here after the pit close here at 2.30. Uh, thanks for watching.